All right, hi, Cancers. Um, this may or may not cut off. If it does, it could just be storage. But um, you'll get what you need to hear. So don't fret or like worry. Um, happy Tuesday. This is just going to be a mini message for the month of October 2021. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, um, energy and time is fluid. So this could be something that's already happened, currently happening, or will. Oh, look what we got here. Cancer, we got a ton of swords. Um, so this is my first time doing tarot, like traditional tarot with you guys. And I was just saying in Pisces readings, when it comes to tarot, they, it tells a story. So this may be very specified to only very like one or two people. Um, so just don't try to make, if you know, like this is not what's going on in your life, don't worry about it. Um, you, you know, so. That's tarot for you. All right. Twenty-one. We have ten of pentacles. Ooh, I like this energy. This is family longevity. This is you know generational wealth legacy. Some of you guys could really be having this on your mind. What type of legacy you want to leave behind? What kind of legacy you want to start, how you want to start it, when you want to start it, right? Marriage could be on your mind, commitment, any, you know, long term. This could be long term stability. Eight of Pentacles here, you guys could be working towards that. Page of Wands. This could be, again, something in the creative arts, so more like something that you're passionate about. But don't turn your back on. Try not to turn. Try not to get so caught up in legacy and creating money that you forget about things that you're actually passionate about, that your heart desires. Okay. Oh gosh, the tower card falling out for everybody. We got the nine of pentacles in reverse. But she's looking at this Ten of Pentacles. So I want to say Cancer. Hold on. October 2000. Too many. Cancer. We have Eight of Swords here. It came out in reverse, but I'm going to take it upright because that's just what I'm feeling. Um, so I'm going to say with the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. These fucking cats, whatever. I, they can do whatever they want. Um, Make, you know, cancers. And because you guys can sometimes fall into that energy of codependency. Make sure you're not focusing too much on... Again, make don't neglect your don't neglect um, self sufficiency, right? You can still have this ten of pentacles while also being in this nine of pentacles as well. Nine of pentacles, yes, people say this is like the single card or whatever, but this is just someone who's very self sufficient. They have their own. And after and you get the ten of pentacles after you enter the nine. You know, it's all about synchronicity. Damn, where's that eight of pentacles that was here? But anyways, you know, the nine comes after the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles, the guy is shown with his head down, working and mastering his craft. And then he gets into this nine of pentacles energy, financial freedom, abundance. And then there comes the ten of pentacles. So you guys may be trying to jump from the, from, you know, all the way straight to the ten of pentacles when you guys need to create some self-sufficiency within yourself. And this may even just be, it may not just be um, materially, it could just really be emotionally. So make sure you guys are working on that, okay? Um, Eight of Swords here, you guys may be feeling stuck in your head or trapped, or you could be coming out of that energy and out of that space, right? 
but this is self-imposed thoughts you know she can easily unwrap herself and untie her blindfolds and then remember the swords are the thoughts this is air element thoughts the mental so this is somebody that's mentally causing themselves an imprisonment that they don't need to be in so make sure you're not doing that make sure you're not um so make sure you're not but also make sure you're not becoming super because nine of pentacles reverse talks about somebody that's superficial too superficial energy make sure you're not overspending and make sure you're not becoming superficial just so you just to keep up like with the joneses and to keep up some facade that everything looks good on paper yeah like i would pick the pictures look good we, you know we got the nice stuff on but really we're fucking miserable and we feel fucking stuck inside the house really and truly is how we really feel so you know just be mindful of that authenticity is key um, yeah king of cups we got cancer pisces and scorpio energy here right Six of Pentacles, reverse. Yeah, again, make sure you're not over. Yeah, make sure you're not over giving to people. Energy wise, two cancers. Make sure, in order, and also in order to be self sufficient, that also, you know, there's an element of self preservation that needs to be had. So make sure you're not over giving to other people, because it can throw you out of balance financially, materially, energetically, physically, all that. with the eight of swords and then we have the ace of cups here what's underneath the king of swords the hierophant the queen of swords the page of cups it's at the bottom and then i feel like for some of you like yeah they came out in reverse but i'm just going to read how i see it how i feel some of you guys could be out of place or maybe you guys want to get to a place of this um this space financially where you can give to others some of you really want to get to a good place financially so you can give but again just make sure you're not over giving but you know the six of pentacles does talk about basically it's like good karma when we give you know we get back right you see the scales here the reminds me of the um scale of the um it's like libra libra is ruled by the scales is ruled by karma as well what we get we give what we give we get okay so try not to be like super stingy with your money um and this is you know you'll know if it fits you or if you need to flip it because i was going to say make sure you're not over giving the people but also make sure you're not being like very like tight which i don't really i'm not getting that energy um from i'm not really getting the energy from this reading some of you guys could be worried about finances you guys could be worried about a long-term relationship you have with another water sign um you know normally uh, but we you know ace of cups is here so there's and there's your cup is runneth over cancer so it's your decision whether you want to see you can whether you you have to decide whether you want to see the cup half full or, or um empty it's really up to you okay but i want to clarify something i want to clarify this three of pentacles some of you somebody could have come somebody could have came to you with some information about something or someone and that could be having you stuck in your head right you could be fearing that there could be other people involved in this situation um This could be all in your head, but maybe, um, shit. Hold on, guys. Yeah, this could be something that, um, someone, the war car flew out, and then it was the devil. Make sure you're not obsessing over this to the point where it's becoming toxic like the home or like the living environment the relationship the marriage make sure it's not becoming something like toxic um let's see hold on 
Hold on. Yeah, somebody may be coming to you with some, I don't know. Hold on, she has some tickets. Uh, yeah, okay, well, Ace of Swords is here. This is, you know, this came up in the upright. It's about truth. Um, so somebody may come, you may, somebody may be coming to you with something. You may be finding out something. And it just may have you kind of stuck in your head here. The eight plus the ace creates the nine of swords. So it may have you like up at night. It may have you up. You may be losing sleep over it. You may be finding out something about a friend. A lot of pencils. You have one, two, four pentacles here. Four pentacles. Four pentacles here. I didn't usually, I didn't clarify for the other signs, but only because this is a bit confusing to me. Yeah, tower. So the nine of pentacles here with the tower. Some of you guys are fearing your stability and your freedom in something. Some of you guys may be concerned that somebody is giving to something else or other people. But I mean, the tower is here is divine intervention. So whatever um, comes out or whatever happens, just know it's divine intervention. Let me just see. Then you will heal from it. The temperance. So don't worry too much about it. Let me see something. Or this could be somebody finding out something about you. Oops, too many. But we got five of wands. Yeah. You may feel like somebody's giving to too too much. Somebody's giving to too, more than you. Oh my god. What card what came out? Oh, your card. The chariot in reverse came out. Um let me try that again. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like this is bad. I don't know. I feel like somebody's experiencing bad karma. And we have the Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Cups, and then there's the Two of Swords here. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Swords. Um, yeah, the King and Queen of Cups is both pan um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Oops, everything is like falling out. Um, again, we are in the season of uh, Libra, and Libra rules justice. Be sure you are not. Be sure you're not. Like, same thing I told Pisces. It don't matter what somebody else is doing or what they're lying. Mind your karma during this time. Because somebody with this tower here upright and this... The Wheel of Fortune, when it's in upright, it's good. But when it's in reverse, it's not... It's, not, it's like bad, basically bad karma. It's basically... Or you can be feeling stuck. You can be feeling stuck because you could be coming from a place of lack. You could be afraid to give to others. You're not giving to others. Um, you could fear. I don't... It's a lot of fear here. But I feel like this is a lot of, like, self-imposed. I, I don't feel like you're using your intuition much here, Cancer. A lot of you guys could be fearing money. You guys could be just feeling stuck financially. You could have taken a hit in, to, in regards to your um, finances, or you, may, you maybe you will. This could be in regards to a relationship, too. Something that you put a lot of time and love into something that you could have been growing for a long time or you could have been in for some time or this could be the other person feeling this way yeah something just may not be going the way you want it to go cancer this doesn't have to be about a relationship or a marriage or anything like that this could be anything it really can be anything. Maybe things just aren't going the way you envision it to go, to be honest. But we do have some truth here, the Ace of Swords here. So as long as you can handle the truth, then you can handle what comes next, I want to say. And this is why it's important to be self-sufficient emotionally. Because when these things, these tower moments happen, you're able to kind of navigate and you're able to kind of um, go through the processes within yourself without going crazy, without really like getting stuck in your head and like losing yourself because of it. 
And you may also, don't be afraid to reach out for help as well, Cancer. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. You have help here. You have the help, okay? You have the help. And collaborating with other people may give you a better understanding and a better idea of what you need to do. So uh, uh, make sure you're nurturing your intuition. If you're feeling indecisive, we again, Mercury retrograde, we are in Libra season. This is the moon and Libra card. Make sure to tap into your, I'm not seeing a lot of water here, so make sure to tap into your intuition. Drink a lot of water, spend time in water. Do some water therapy. I hope this helps. This feel like it was all over the place, but I don't know. I feel like the water signs. Y'all just got some shit going on. But, um, all right, guys. I will talk to you soon, and have a great rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye.